everybody, I'm here with my favorite uh, Thai place for the fish cake uh, Friday lunch special. So I don't have to pay the extra two dollars because <laughs> you have to pay two dollars on uh, lunch any weekday except Friday. So today I don't have to pay the extra two, and I got a nice spot for the S430 just over there. You know? And the seat has arrived. I think it's uh, vegetarian. You know? And uh, from here I'm planning I'm going to see Thor. I uh, had a good morning at home with the kids, with the, and then um, my uh, fish cakes have arrived and they're good. The guy just leaving there in the Tesla, he was sitting over here uh, at this table, and he's a regular, and apparently I heard everything, apparently he found a couple of hairs and he showed them, and uh, they came and apologized, and said, we're not going to charge you, and you know, because I've been coming here for four years. And, uh, Obviously, you can afford it. <laughs> he's got a Tesla, but you know, it was nice of them to, it was a nice gesture. Um, I'm looking. I don't see any Harris, you know. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Just coming out of Thor. <laughs> you know, really, really stretching mythology. <laughs> kind of silly, but uh, special effects past a couple of hours. So anyway, bye for now. <laughs> Just gonna go um, pet smart and then you know maybe uh, we're gonna grocery shopping and then back to the kids. D fifty nine, I think. 58 or 59. Okay, I bought some um, uh, cat food, dry and wet, and some pouches from uh, PetSmart, and I just washed the car. <laughs> As my friend says, uh, always a good sign when I wash the car. And um, I didn't bring a towel, I just had some of these reusable shop paper towels, the high quality ones in the trunk. The guy next to me, he's like a huge fluffy towel. He came prepared, you know. But yeah, I didn't to put my towels, but it didn't. Everybody just got back. One of the babies is there. And then the other baby, I just said, jump there. And Nagita is sitting in the front. Um, I bought some groceries, put them away. Ice cream, bread, cheese. Uh, olives, uh, mayonnaise, the essentials, and um, came back. I came up and let the babies out of their room because I was gonna, knew I was going to be gone for a few hours. I put them in the room, and now I'm just going to get changed, spend some time with the kids, work on my journal entry, um, maybe read, watch Netflix, feed the kids. <laughs> feed the kids for most of that. I got them all kinds of. Uh, uh, options of cat food today, and so we, uh, the um, the cabinet is stocking up again. There, you know. So I know some pouches. So you know, uh, day fifty nine eight whatever. Hello, everybody. It's um, morning for me, <laughs> just just around noon on day fifty nine, and we've got a Gita running about there, you know. And we've got one baby there in the living room. Yep. And we've got the other baby there. Sort of uh, living room towards the dining room. Yeah. And I am just fixing my own breakfast. I got fake bacon. It looks and tastes very much like bacon, you know. But it's fake. It's plant-based, you know. And um, I got some buns yesterday, so I got some mayonnaise on it. I'm pointing that out especially if one of my friends sees it because she's a very anti-mayonnaise activist. And we've got uh, cheese and we get very hot red peppers. So even if it doesn't taste exactly like bacon, it's crunchy and it kind of looks like bacon and the taste doesn't really matter because my mouth will, is already burning because I had one of the red peppers, you know. Um, and I'm having breakfast at home for a change. Because, um, and so, oh, so eleven oh eight. It's early for me, so it's um, um, I'm having uh, breakfast early because I'm planning on going out later uh, to the new Parkdale night market. It starts at two p.m. and it goes till eleven. So I'll go like four, four five, six, something like that. Um, do some errands in the day. I might go shopping or just stay home with the kids, and we'll see. And I'll try to do a little bit of cleaning. But um, uh, I do want to check it out. It's a night market. It's one of those street festival thingies. There may be some interesting food. It's now a little later. I had my bacon, my fake bacon, I should say, plant-based bacon, um, mayonnaise, and extremely hot pepper sandwich. You know. And um, I'm just having uh, a, um, a corn on the cob. I got them yesterday on sale at Sobeys, 44 cents each. 
you have a CAE, they were like seven dollars, you know, and probably not as much pepper as I put. So I'm having my um, my my breakfast lunch at home, and then I will go out later for some errands, and then later still for the uh, night market in uh, Parkdale. So that's my plan for today. Um, so we got one of the babies is there. The other baby is there. And Agitha is under the bed, the master bedroom. Uh, so I'm going to finish my uh, my uh, corner of the cob and uh, just uh, make a morning entry uh, and spend some time with the, the kids. Maybe do some errands if I feel up to it. Uh, take the car, um, go buy some cola, stuff like that. And then um, later on, I'll decide whether I want to drive up to Parkdale and try to find parking or walk all the way from here. It's doable. I just haven't done really long walks in a while now. Uh, but if I stop on benches along the way, I'll be okay. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, bye for now. Hello, everybody. It's me, Nandi Professor. I'm here at the, uh, the, what do they call it? Night Market. Parkdale Night Market. And it's only on the sidewalk. They haven't even yeah. shut the uh, road. Usually these uh, street festivals, they close uh, the road to traffic. But here it's, it's just people on sidewalks with, you know, goods from the stores. And there's food and stuff, so there's people around. So it's, it's okay. I'm just going to have a walk. And if I can find something to eat, I will. If not, I'll just go to um, Tibetan, just down here. And on the way over, I had a little kind of road rage incident because I was driving along in the Pacific Ops. Lecture and I'm indicating in this traffic turning left, it's two lanes going left onto a park side. So I'm indicating and I'm in the right lane that turns left. And uh, other people in front of me and behind me are in that lane because it becomes two lanes to turn left. And some person in the car on the left was like shouting at me, shouting at me. I don't. And then finally, when the car came near, it was the, one of the rear passengers. Um, Opened, opened the window and started yelling at me something about white lines. I didn't even hear what it was, but I got I got pissed off and I and I and so I was behind them and I just honked and I honked and they gave the finger a few times and then we turned up Parkside and they turned onto a side street because they thought I was going to chase them and attack them or something which I wasn't. I was just kind of pissed off. I'm like, well, if you can yell at me, I can honk back at you. You know. So the naughty professor got a little road rage triggered, but I just can't. And I gave the finger a few times, you know. So anyway, that was my excitement for the day, uh, you know. And then they turned, uh, there was a car full of four people, you know, I think two women, two men. And I don't know what, what the fuck they were uh, complaining about. As far as I know, I don't think I even did anything wrong. And if you're going to like do that kind of shit, and open your window and start screaming at somebody for no particular reason, you can get freaking honked at! Hello everybody, I'm here on the patio at one of the Tibetan places I go to. I don't know what's happening tonight uh, with the Nutty Professor and, you know, kind of the universe and, you know, getting uh, getting triggered and, you know. Uh, just like, uh, the, the night market is really nothing to speak of. There's hardly any, uh, uh, you know, food stalls. Couple of couple of people barbecuing some kind of meat that <laughs> didn't look very appetizing, and uh, a few you know uh, clothing racks on uh, on the sidewalk, and that was about it. Some night market, so um, uh, I decided I might as well just walk over to uh, my uh, usual Tibetan restaurant. So I go to my usual Tibetan restaurant and there's people inside and usually you, you stand up in the front and they show you a table. I don't want to like take a table unless, you know, I, you know, but uh, I'd rather be shown to a table than just take one. So I'm standing there and there's uh, three or four tables and uh, the waitress is uh, serving some table or the, the server and then she sees me and, uh, you know, and she doesn't say anything, doesn't come over, doesn't you know, show me to, thank you very much, appreciate it, you know, uh, doesn't show me to a table or anything, and then, uh, she starts, she goes to the back, and she gets uh, water, and she's putting water in one of the table of, you know, there's a larger table of Tibetans, and I'm just standing there, and I'm like thinking, should I sit down, or should I not, and then finally, I, you know, I kind of, gesture and I go just like you know like one person you know like a table please 
and she's, she's looking at me and then she starts going oh, over there somewhere you know and I said look this is not this is not very uh, you know uh, hospitable I said I've been a regular here for many years and I will never come back Everybody's kind of turning to look at me. So, <laughs> I walked out. I came here. You know, so I've been to this place too, and and uh, I've never been on the patio. It's one of those backyard patio things, and there's a cover here, and there's quite a few people. And it's you know, I put, I, then it became where do I sit? And you know, it's in this corner, that corner. People get kind of everywhere, and it's kind of a corner. It's, oh, she is covered. It's like you know. But anyway, um, I think I think in, in the current state that I'm in. It's better to be kind of away from people, just in a little corner. <laughs> I don't know what the I'm here at, uh, at this place on the patio, and um, I'm having the spicy shrimp. Of course, it's not spicy enough, you know, and I asked hot sauce, and it's not very hot hot sauce. But um, the, 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 the curry is actually quite good. There's more sauce than I had expected, and there's some vegetables, and they're very nice big shrimps. So the food is good, and, you know... <laughs> Nobody triggered me here, so <laughs> I mean, the service has been very good. So, and it's a nice patio, so and it's, 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 uh, I'm just going to finish this and go straight home before somebody else you know, pisses me off. Anyway, bye for now. Hey, I'm walking back to the car, and this is where the actual night market is. I, I missed it when I was coming because um, I saw the ones on the sidewalk, but I didn't see there's a parking lot here. Uh, I guess they didn't have any music or lights then, and it wasn't really quiet. quiet. But now I see that there is a little parking lot with a few stalls of food. So there, I, you know, there were a couple of people barbecuing meat on the sidewalks. And there, there's more of these uh, booths now. I, I guess that's why they call it a night market. When I came, it was still relatively early. So now it's... Uh, I'll have a quick look. Maybe I can get some dessert, you know? Uh, you know, nothing I would actually buy here, but uh, I'll have a quick Okay, they have handmade baby headbands here, you know? I don't think there are headbands that will fit my babies. They're, those are like for human babies. Speaking of which, there's a lot of human kids here. And dogs, too. Anyway, time for the Nutty Professor to be heading back away from all the homans. Bye for now. Everybody, just got back. Agita is running about here. <laughs> there she is. This is Agita. And well, the babies are here. I just got them out of their room. And one baby's there. And one baby's there. And I'm feeling much better. Now that I'm home and then... You know, could have relaxed and all that kind of whatever weird energy out there with people, you know, yelling at me and, uh, you know, and ignoring me in restaurants and all the weird stuff, you know, I'm just glad to be home. So, I'm just going to relax, <laughs> shower, change, um, feed the kids, you know, and um, make a journal entry. And then uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to edit and, and post this. So I'll have to really edit down. I've got a lot of material. So from the four of us, uh, Gita and the two babies, okay. Bye for now. Day 59, I think. I'm kind of lost count here. Could be 60. No, let's, let's say 59. Anyway, bye for now. Hello, everybody. It's now Sunday around 5.30 or so, and Agitha is here. She had been in the living room by the ego chair, and we've got one of the babies is here, and we've got the other baby there, under the, uh, under the white chair. Now, uh, last night, after I came back, after the, you know, sort of stressful events of the outing, with the road rage, and, the, you know, that... Uh, uh, annoying server at the restaurant and all of that stuff. So after after all of that, I came back. I uh, you know taped a little bit, but I found I couldn't make an entry. I was just like still processing the whole thing and still feeling a bit stressed. So the the pull ramped up. No, not too surprisingly, but you know pull was pretty strong. I just kind of rolled it out and I had a very good night with uh, the baby He's settled and they know when I'm, you know, kind of, you know, struggling. So their babies were on the bed purring next to me much of the night, and Nagita was on the perch, and in the morning uh, everybody got up, and I fed everybody wet food, and everything was fine. And then I felt the pull again! <laughs> you know, so, uh, but again, I just kind of wrote it out, uh, you know, and I you know, just kind of uh, finally managed to make a journal entry about 
uh, the events of yesterday. I also replied to a friend. So, you know, that's the whole thing. When, uh, when you know, when one gets stressed out, uh, junkies tend to, you know, feel more of the, the pull because that's how one deals with, with, with you know, uh, issues, you know, so, but it's okay, I mean, it's, it's not, it's, uh, you know, the pool was kind of strong, it was actually strong, but it's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm clear, and I'm going to, I'm going to remain clear, you know, uh, day by day, but, you know, the, the, and I guess part of it is also dealing with stressful events that falling into one's own old patterns, you know, so, uh, so anyway, uh, all is well, day 60, and I, I ended up, just because I was battling all this stuff, I ended up skipping brunch. I was going to go for brunch. It was a nice day. I was going to go for a walk and have brunch, but just ended up kind of battling the dragon for a while. But it's okay. I'm clear. And I'm, you know, so now, and everybody was here and everybody was settled and relaxed and was everything was, it was fine, then, you know. So now I'm just going to go to eat. So my, my brunch has become dinner, you know, because it's become dinner now, 536. So either I'll walk somewhere there, one of those patios, the usual patios, that way I don't have to worry about people driving, or I can take a car. I'm not going to stop driving just because they're asshole drivers. So I'm going to, uh, I still don't know what she was complaining about. But anyway, so I'm, I'm, um, I may take, I haven't been to Chinatown in a really long time. I think I went to a, a Pakistani restaurant there a couple of months ago, but not actually a Chinese restaurant. And my favorite Chinese restaurant I haven't been to since the pandemic. Uh, but uh, so it should be okay. I might I might go there. You know, I'll, I'll take the Benz, take the 430. I'll see. Once I've once I'm got my shoes on and I'm out, do I feel like walking locally or do I feel like uh, taking the car? We'll see how it goes. Uh, I could always go to Chinatown another time. So anyway, we'll see. Uh, it might not be a bad idea to have a walk. And then, but the plan is to come back and it's in post. Anyway, from the, uh, and I'm going to leave the kids loose. Everybody's fine. Another reason I might just stay locally, you know. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. Uh, even if I go to Chinatown, I won't be long. I'll just go eat, come back. Anyway, one of the kids there, uh, one of the kids there, you know, and one of the kids, okay, the, there, okay. Bye for now. From the four of us. The bag, which I okay, here I am in Chinatown. I parked the uh, 430 up there. Uh, it took almost an hour to get here. It should be like a five minute drive along the highway, uh, ten minutes at most. But there was really bad traffic on the Gardner on a Sunday coming into town, particularly getting off the Spadina ramp. Uh, just sitting there, sitting there, 45 minutes in the <laughs> right lane, finally got off. And, once, once on Spadina, it started moving. I found a parking spot a little bit further up, but gave me a bit of a walk after being stuck in the car with traffic for so long. So, there's all kinds of options here, places I used to go before the pandemic, and then uh, kind of stopped uh, coming to Gentown for a while. Things goes down, and then reopened, and then um, I went to the um, kebab place just up there recently. It's not Chinese, Pakistani. It's quite good, actually. Uh, but um, today I think I'm going to go for Chinese food, so uh, Swatow, I used to go there a lot, it's open late at night too, and I like, I, you know, I don't know if it's changed, I used to really like the soup. It wasn't the cleanest of places, uh, even back then, but hopefully they've kind of cleaned up a bit during the pandemic, you know, <laughs> yeah, while it was, uh, you know, closed for a while, hopefully they've cleaned up a bit, but uh, you know, it's okay. The food is good, and I put so much pepper that if there are any germs, they probably kill them. Anyway, let's see what it's like, you know. Um, I like their shrimp dumpling soup and their, uh, their shrimp on rice. Anyway, bye for now. So, it's right there. Here I am at Swat Out. It's about the same as it used to be before, you know. But um, uh, the thing I like here is that, you know, table for four came um, available. And I was uh, in line, next in line by myself. And he just gave it to me. Now, year, years ago, 
if you were by yourself, they would put you at a table with other people. Yeah, like in you know, one of the big round tables. That, uh, they don't. I guess you can't do that now in pandemic times. So you have to have a table for yourself. So uh, I get a nice table, and then those people, there's a couple, and then there's a guy behind them. They're just waiting in line for people to go. But I, I got a nice spot, and I'm, I'm having my um, my favorite shrimp um, shrimp wonton soup and uh, uh, fish. Yeah, rather than shrimp, I went for fish. Fish. Uh, I like the fish here on rice. Anyway, and they got the hot sauce. You know, uh, you know, usual hot sauce. You know, and fish oil and. Uh, soy sauce. It's a, it, you know, it used to come a lot late at night. It's a nice, late, it's open really late. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this. I haven't been here in a long time. Bye for now. This is my shrimp uh, dumplings, uh, shrimp uh, wonton soup. It's pretty bland on its own, but I add salt, pepper, soy sauce, fish oil, and let's of their um, homemade sauce there. And then it kind of changes color. It was like, you know, so um, it's actually a meal in itself. Like this and the fish, I'll have lots left over for late at night and for tomorrow. So uh, that's why, I, you know, I could have managed this, just just this as a meal. But um, it, it, I, I haven't tasted it yet, one second. Just as good as I remember. I haven't, had, I haven't even had one of the shrimp ball things yet. But the soup is excellent and the hot sauce is really hot. It's hot, hot sauce. Well worth the drive in traffic. Anyway, uh, bye for now. And now the main course has arrived. Uh, fish, it's like breaded fish with uh, uh, bok choy and other vegetables on rice. And um, it's relatively bland on its own, but I had lots and lots of hot sauce. I haven't actually tasted it yet, but I'm sure it's the same as before. There's a lot of food. So, what I can't eat, I'll have back for later. Anyway, bye for now. This is with the uh, hot sauce and the salt and the pepper and the soy sauce and everything. And it's excellent. I just tasted it. Really, really good as always. I won't be able to eat that much of it because there's a lot of soup left. So, I'll ask for a thing later. What I usually do is I eat the, um, the soup portion and then these, uh, whatever uh, one down, trip one down the left, I have them packed in with this. So that becomes my next day's supper. Anyway, bye for now. Very good. Food is really good, and uh, it's also uh, nice to be in a place again where you don't have to ask for something. At Thai or uh, Tibetan places, they have chopsticks, but you always have to ask for it. Here, it just comes with uh, chopsticks. You know, uh, food is very good. I really, I really enjoy this place. Okay, bye for now. Hello, everybody. I just got home. I haven't even taken off my coat and my hat yet. Nagisa's in pretty much the same spot she was when I left in that room in the uh, on the red uh, sofa. Uh, the door opened, of course. And uh, we got one of the babies there. And we got one of the babies there. And I just turned on the lights. The lights went on. First time I think I've ever left them uh, towards evening. It got a bit dark. I didn't leave any lights on. But it was yeah, light enough and the cats don't really need a lot of light, I've been told. So, uh, I just got home, turned on the lights, and uh, I'm going to take off my hat. Or my Mercedes hat today, because I took my Mercedes. So, um, day 60. Is it 60 or 61? I think it's actually 61, if I'm... But, uh, you know, I'm going to pull... Hello, everybody. I think it's day 62. 62 or 63. Uh, but anyway, uh, yesterday I ended up working on uh, the next two podcasts. It's going to be two because there's just so much material. And I'm going to divide them up. So day 54, 55 to 58, and then 58 to 62. Something like that. But I worked on the editing of the of the first one, but haven't uh, posted it yet. I'm probably going to post tonight. So did that, spent some time with the kids, you know, uh, watched some Netflix. And then uh, the baby settled nicely on the bed with me at night as usual. And Agitha was settled in the hall. Uh, in the morning, exchanged texts with a friend, spent time with the kids, um, talked to my father in India, and uh, fed the kids. So we got uh, one baby there, very nicely settled. One baby very nicely settled there. And Agitha was on the um, ego chair, but you know she wanted a little change, so she's moved there, next to the ego chair. So, um, plan is... 
to go out for uh, for brunch, and I might just walk a uh, place at the end of those buildings, um, uh, the Sunset Grill, and I might just walk just for a little exercise and for share and all of that stuff, and you know, uh, so I might uh, go have uh, my brunch, uh, come back. And then uh, keep editing and posting. And I'd like to post the two podcasts at the same time. I've done that occasionally. Uh, but I'll, I'll post them, uh, like part one and part two. But I think I'll call them, you know, day 55 to 58, 58 to 62, something like that. Hello, everybody. I'm here at the uh, Sunset Grill, about half an hour's walk away. And um, yeah, I just walked. And I'm having uh, my uh, three eggs, no meat breakfast with uh, three quarters of a pot of tobacco. <laughs> The server came and I was like, I had poured like half the bottle already onto my eggs and I said, I guess I, I, I do like my Tabasco. He was like, so you should. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, almost almost done here and then I walk back to the kids and work on editing and posting the podcast. And then tomorrow, day trip, and I'll start taping for the next podcast, you know. So anyway, but, and I, I, I want to drop the... Um, Pacifica tomorrow and pick up the mini because now I have a mini hat. So I might as well have the mini here. Anyway, bye for now. Hello everybody, I finished my uh, my breakfast and uh, uh, it was just in the base of those buildings there, you know. So I walked over here and now you can see our building and the babies and the geese are in that left wing facing this way. The kids, I don't know if they're looking out the window. So anyway, uh, they're on the 22nd floor, so I don't think they'll see me. But anyway, uh, just heading back. Another uh, from here, 20 minutes, you know. So, um, and then edit and post. So the time with the kids, edit and post. Looks like it may rain. I have my umbrella on me, my little, my little pocket umbrella. But um, I think I should make it home before the rain. Anyway, uh, and then edit and post on the tomorrow day trip. Bye for now. Just walking along and I noticed that there is a dog park bistro here. And for dogs, they have frozen yogurt, ice lollies, cake pops, and woofles. I'm not sure what a woofle is, maybe like a waffle, but for dogs. And they're sold here. Now, excuse me, why isn't there a kitty cafe? I mean, you know, excuse me, I mean, you know, I, I object to this. Uh, you know, why do dogs get their own cafe and they get woofles and uh, cats? don't get any kind of cafe they don't get you know kittles why this is a this is blatant anti-cat you know uh, discrimination I, uh, I object strongly anyway bye for now woofles woofles indeed and this one uh, this is fine addressed to a dog going you know dear dog Make sure certain your human is always attached with a leash. Uh, makes sense and uh, properly trained to clean up after you. Of course, the human should be trained. It's the only, you know, what's the point of having humans if they're not trained to look after the pets, you know? Thank you. But the only thing is, I do, you know, I don't, you know, if it was a uh, sign directed at cats uh, and it was written, yes, uh, cats are problems, I would be able to read it, I understand. But uh, dogs, I don't know. That's right. Anyway, <laughs> I don't think, don't think dogs really read English. Anyway, bye for now. Hello everybody, I just came in the door and I have a welcoming committee. One of the kids, one of the babies, uh, came towards the door and it was, it was looking from here. And then I went to look for the other one, the uh, other two, other baby and then the uh, and then Agitha. And I found the other baby here, you know. So I think that this one is actually the one wondering about here, I think this is Finn. Yeah. And then this one I think is Elsie. You Elsie? Yes, I think you're Elsie. I see little white hairs on the on the uh, uh, paw there. So, and then Agitha's there. So, uh, Agitha and one of the babies were in the same room. One on the bed, one on the floor. Look at Agitha down there. There's Agitha. There. Look at the camera. So, I'm home. It was getting quite hot outside, you know. Uh, Daddy saw all kinds of stuff, sweetie. Daddy saw a cafe for dogs no cafe for cats but cafe for dogs and signs in english for dogs that supposedly read english yeah right so anyway so i'm back i'm going to edit and post and then uh tomorrow day trip and i'll start uh, uh doing footage again uh maybe i won't wait the full week I, you know rather than uh, wait from week to week uh, i'll do it when i have enough uh, post when i have enough uh, footage for a podcast anyway so from the four of us one baby, 
two baby Agita there and myself the nutty history professor or is from the four of us bye for now see you next podcast <laughs>